the, the game that Josh Moon is playing here is he's basically acting like there's this World War II historian. And see, on this page in his book about World War II, he's saying that we were at war with Germany. But on this page, he says we're fighting Japan. Ha! I got him in a contradiction. No, you idiot. Both things are true. It, it can be true that there was Antifa, Proud Boys, and Trump supporters all in the Capitol when the riot took place. Hey, fellow tacticians. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and ring that little notification bell. That supports this channel's conservative content, which is good for me, good for you, good for America, but really bad for the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. That was stupid. I know it was stupid. Really stupid. Hey, I just said it was stupid. We have another Daily Dose of Stupid, which I'm sure that all of you are going to enjoy because it is a local story. And it involves one of our all-time favorites, Josh Moon. So Josh Moon of Alabama Political Reporter. And he is apparently going after Congressman Mo Brooks, who is running for the United States Senate. And you may recall that Mo Brooks actually spoke at the rally that took place on January 6th. And then, of course, later on, January 6th, actually, it wasn't that much later on, but slightly later on, there was a riot that took place in the Capitol with people busting in and, you know, creating all kinds of property damage. You know all this. But Mo Brooks happening to be here, ever since then, he's come under attack from the left, trying to say that he was one of the people that incited a riot and all of this other stuff. And Josh Moon, in response to this, put out a summary of how Mo Brooks has changed his stories over and over again throughout the course of this new story taking place. And so here's a quick summary of it, just so you don't have to read it. He's saying that Mo Brooks is changing his story because he keeps changing who's actually to blame for the January 6th riots. So he says that Antifa, and then he says later on he was saying it was the Proud Boys, and then Josh Moon says later on he was saying, quote, those fools, talking about the people that, that broke into the, the Capitol, and then he says he blamed his constituents, and then later he's saying he blamed Trump. That's the most recent one because... He's saying that in the court filings that were released just the other day, that Mo Brooks, in his legal defense, because there are people bringing lawsuits against him, Eric Swalwell being sort of the, the head of that, a representative from the state of California that's banging Chinese spies. Apparently that's, and, and him being on the intelligence uh, committee is not nearly as big a national security threat as Mo Brooks saying things at the Capitol and then simultaneously some idiot people that weren't even at the speech attacking the Capitol. Apparently, that's a much bigger national security concern than somebody that's actually on the Intelligence Committee having sex with Chinese spies. Apparently, that's, I'm just saying, based on his behavior, he seems to think that that is a, a bigger problem. But anyway, uh, based on this court filing where Brooke said he essentially would not have been there, he would not have been doing the speech had it not been for President Trump inviting him, and also had it not been for the White House previewing the speech, looking over it, and approving it. Now, Josh Moon int intentionally misinterprets this. He intentionally sees this as Mo Brooks looking at it and saying, oh, well, actually, if anything, I said incited a riot. That's really Trump's fault. And the reason it's Trump's fault is because he invited me, and then also he approved the speech. His people approved the speech before I gave it. That's not what Mo Brooks is saying. And I think Josh Moon knows that. I hope Josh Moon knows that. I hope he's not. I, I, honestly, I don't know. Because if you have to choose between being stupid or being evil, you should choose stupid. But you would have to be pretty darn stupid, and I don't think Josh Moon is this stupid. You would have to be pretty darn stupid to believe that this is actually the case, that when he is saying that I would not have said these things, what he's actually doing is saying, look, I didn't say anything controversial. I didn't start a riot. The things that I said were not even just something that I was coming up with off the top of my head. It wasn't spontaneous. The White House looked over this. They, they looked at it and said, yeah, that's fine. And so he's not blaming Trump for the riot. He's never blamed Trump for the riot, nor is he blaming himself and saying, my words incited a riot, but somebody else approved them. That's not what he's saying at all. He's not like the guy that you know caused some kind of big crash at the warehouse at work and then is claiming, well, my manager said it was okay to do this. 
that's not the part that he's playing here. He's saying that neither he nor Trump incited a riot, that it was completely unconnected to the riot. And part of the thing that he is using as evidence that he said nothing controversial is that the White House staff looked over it and didn't see anything that they thought would have been illegal or problematic in any way. That's what he's saying. He is not accusing Trump of having started the riot. And so Josh Moon is intentionally misreading this, I believe. And furthermore, his whole premise that he's constantly changing his story and the story is constantly evolving is based on two very easily disprovable lies. Now, the first one is that the group that invaded the Capitol is homogenous. You have to believe that to believe Josh Moon's analysis that when Mo Brooks says, well, it was Antifa that invaded the Capitol, or it was the Proud Boys that invaded the Capitol, or it was some Trump supporters, in other words, those fools, people that you know may have supported Trump but acted in a way that they shouldn't have that invaded the Capitol. He's saying that whenever Brooks says this, he's changing his story. This is patently absurd because all of these things can be true at once. They are not mutually exclusive. In fact, we know for a fact that they are not mutually exclusive. Were there Trump supporters that invaded the Capitol? Absolutely. I've never denied that. I don't think that Mo Brooks, to my knowledge, has ever denied it. And I've talked about him. I've talked about this specifically with him a number of times. And I don't know that he has ever asserted that there were not Trump supporters or not people that, that voted Republican involved in the Capitol riots. But what he is also saying is that Antifa was there stirring up the crowd. There is also evidence that the Proud Boys were involved as well. And by the way, the Proud Boys tend to lean politically right. They're not really like Republican or conservative per se, but they tend to lean right. So again, that wouldn't even be a contradiction in the sense that they could have been, they could have actually been the same person. Like you could have said a Proud Boy and Trump supporter. That's also possible. I don't know if it is or not. But the point is, these are not contradictory things. These are not things that if you say one, it must be the other true. The, the game that Josh Moon is playing here is he's basically acting like there's this World War II historian. And see, on this page in his book about World War II, he's saying that we were at war with Germany. But on this page, he says we're fighting Japan. Ha! I got him in a contradiction. No, you idiot. Both things are true. It, it can be true that there was Antifa, Proud Boys, and Trump supporters all in the Capitol when the riot took place. All of those things can simultaneously be true. And by the way, probably was based on recent available evidence. We actually have video footage, and I've shown it on this show before, of an Antifa member trying to smash in a window, and he actually gets hauled off by Trump supporters. I actually found recently a new video that has two people all dressed in black, clad exactly like Antifa always is. They try to smash in a door. The Trump supporters step in and actually stop them from smashing in the door. There were no Capitol Police there, and so the Trump supporters actually step in, which, by the way, does not excuse the Trump supporters that did break in and did break stuff and did steal things. I'm not trying to suggest that the Every Trump supporter there was good, and it was just Antifa that was bad. I'm not saying that. I said from the very beginning, this is probably at least some Trump supporters, just based on the people that were present in the Capitol that day at the time. But the point is, saying that does not mean it is exclusive. Now, maybe we do an investigation, and we find out those Antifa members were really Trump supporters in disguise. I doubt that, but it's a possibility. Maybe we find out that the Proud Boys really weren't involved. I don't know. Maybe Mo Brooks is proven wrong. That is still a possibility. But my point is, him saying those things does not necessarily make it a contradiction. And Josh Moon, I think, knows this and is intentionally lying to whip people up against Mo Brooks. Now, the second easily, easily discredited lie in this is that the group that was listening to the speech that Mo Brooks gave and that Donald Trump gave are exactly the same group that attacked the Capitol and broke in. This is not only not true, it is not even possible. According to the New York Times timeline, remember, this is the New York Times, not exactly a bastion of conservative thought. The place where the attack took place is roughly a 20-minute walk from where the speech was given. The problem with that is, 
it's a 20 minute walk on a day where there is no traffic and there are no barricades and there are no Capitol police out blocking certain roads and that kind of thing. But that's not what this day was. The Capitol was absolutely filled. I've been there when the Capitol was swamped, when there's a big event there. It's really hard even walking to get around and to be able to do so in a quick manner. And I've also made exactly the walk that they're talking about to the Capitol building in D.C. It can't be done when you're that crowded in 20 minutes. It's just not possible. I mean, I don't even think an Olympic sprinter could make it in that amount of time. And so what they're having to deal with now is the fact that Donald Trump's speech started just like 11-ish, 12-ish minutes before the Capitol riots actually happened and people started breaking into the Capitol. And so I'm not saying, again, that these weren't some, some of them, probably even most of them, based on the pictures, were Trump supporters and were legitimate Trump supporters. They weren't like disguised or anything. They were probably real Trump supporters. But the point is, they were not the same people at the speech. It is not possible for Mo Brooks' speech and Donald Trump's speech to have incited this riot because the people that broke in were not the same people that heard the speech. And that again goes back to this thing that Josh Moon is like, well, Mo Brooks is changing his story because here he's saying that he's blaming Trump for what happened. No, Mo Brooks asserts correctly that the people that broke into the Capitol and the people that listened to his speech and listened to Trump's speech, it's not the same group of people. It literally can't be unless they have the power of teleportation and we need to know about that. And so the first lie I think that Moon is probably making because he, you know, knowing it's a lie, I genuinely think the second one, he probably just doesn't know any better. I will give him the benefit of the doubt on that. I think he's just an idiot and hasn't looked into it and doesn't want to look into it because right now the narrative says what he likes. I don't think that he actually is intentionally and maliciously saying that, you know, that that's a, a lie and but. He's lying about the first part. I don't think he's lying about the second part. That's the best way that I can sum it up here. And the thing is, we might one day find out that Mo Brooks is wrong, like I said. We could do this investigation and find out the assertions and the, the claims that Mo Brooks is making about the people that were in the Capitol. We might find out that it turns out that's wrong, but it still wouldn't be him contradicting himself and it wouldn't be Mo Brooks being dishonest because these are legitimate things that we do have evidence for that we can look back at and say, yeah, that, that it, it appears to be there's multiple parties involved here. But, but Josh Moon and the people on the left here in Alabama will take any opportunity they can to attack the guy because they are terrified of the thought of Mo Brooks as a United States senator, which to me only further solidifies that he's the right man for the job. <laughs> To convince you to like this video and subscribe to my channel, I'm about to do some political impersonations. First up, Bernie Sanders. It is immoral that in this country, the top 1% of YouTubers get all the likes and subscriptions. John Kerry. Please remember to ring the notification bell. President Joe Biden. If you like the show, call the TV guide and tell them. You know, the thing. Kamala Harris. Batman would want you to like and subscribe. 